Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Frederick Douglass. I take three fingers from the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line to the left, come back to the dot, slightly curved line down on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, and stop. I come back to the right and I'm going to draw curve line in, out, in, out, and down and leave it floating. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curve line in and leave that floating. I come inside this space. On the right hand side I'm going to draw a big curve line up, over, and down on the right. Come right across and I'm going to draw a big curve line up, over, and down on the left. Starting over here on the left, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line on the left, come over and a slightly curved line on the right. Come back to the left and draw a curved line down, up, connect, inside draw a curved line down, connect. So that I don't forget, I'm going to color in this section of my eye with black. I come over here on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line down, up, connect, and a curve line inside and I'm going to color this section also so I don't forget. Okay? Now, I come right here in the center. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, curve line in, curve line down, curve line over, straight line diagonal up and leave it floating. I come right down here in the center and I'm going to draw curve line up, down, up, and over, curve line under and leave that floating. Okay. Got a lot of lines floating. Now I come back over here on the left and I draw a straight diagonal line down, curve line over, leave it floating. Come over here on the right uh, left hand side again, straight diagonal down, curve line in, leave that floating, and come back over to the left and draw a slightly curved line off the page. Now I come over here and I'm just going to draw a slight diagonal line down, curve line in, Come back to this section and just draw me a curve line down off the page. Okay, now some of you are going to go, what are all these floating lines? That is because, okay let's connect this one right, little one right there. That is because Frederick Douglass is African American and he has really curly curly hair. So we're going to finish this section over. So I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to continue this curve line up, straight line down, connect. Then I'm going to go curve line, curve line, curve line up, connect, a little curve line going down, and a little curve line going down. Come back over here and we're just going to draw a curve line up, connect. Okay. Now. Let's see how we're going to color this in and it looks a little cuckoo because I didn't connect all my lines but you will see when we start doing color. Okay, for this coloring you need a gray crayon. If you don't have gray you can use brown. But I'm going to start over here on the right and I'm doing a loop-de-loop, -loop, round and round, round and round, all the way up on the right hand side, keep going and then I stop. And I come back around, loop-de-loop, -loop, 
and bring his hair, this is his hair, a little bit down and over, okay? Now, I leave a little teeny space right here, and I loop-de-loop -loop going towards the left. And I bring it in, and I loop-de-loop, -loop, and can go over that line, bring it out a little bit, and that is his hair, okay? Then, he's got a mustache and a beard. So I come in underneath this section and I do a loop-de-loop -loop down, up, and over. And I'm really, what I'm doing, we're going to double color this. I'm going to get my base coat of gray up on him. Now I take my gray and I loop-de-loop -loop his eyebrow on the left loop-de-loop -loop his eyebrow on the right, okay? Now, some of you might go, oh, that looks crazy. Yeah, it looks a little cuckoo, but we're not done. We're going to double color this. So now that I've got that base coat, I come in with my black. And I'm going to do his mustache, loop-de-loop. -loop. I'm going to do his goatee, his little beard, loop-de-loop. -loop with my black. Now I do his hair and I do black loop-de-loop -loop, all the way up. Now he had a gray streak of gray hair right about here so I'm going to skip over and leave a little bit of the gray showing and then loop-de-loop -loop my black again. Keep going, keep going, and keep going. Now, he's got his eyebrows need to be done black, so I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop his eyebrow on the right, his eyebrow on the left. Let me bring this in a little bit more, okay? All right, I'm going to add a little bit more gray, okay? Now, he is African American, so I'm going to add some brown, and this goes around. This is his mouth. We're going to try and blend it in a little bit. You got this is his nose. This is his face, his ears. Very handsome man, I must say. Okay, keep going, keep going. And you will do a way better job than I am, but I'm just giving you the generals. But he, this is this is face. Because the rest of him, you gotta remember this is in the 1800s, is everything is black and white. They didn't do a lot of color. So this is his suit, which is black. This is his tie, which is black. We're going to leave this section white. That's his uh, shirt. This is his suit. This should be black. This bottom part is shirt. We'll leave that white. But this is all black. So it's really very, very somber colors. Okay? Now, because I can't leave anything alone without a pop of color, I'm going to go ahead and take my big fat red crayon. I'm just going to do some stripes in the background just to give it a little pop of color. Okay? All the way across. Frederick Douglass. Alright. Let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Frederick Douglass all colored in. Very important person in black history, in American history. Okay, bye-bye.